So I can certainly understand um, the perspective of teachers who feel very nervous about their capacity to support children who are, who are experiencing complex trauma. Uh, and I think it's really important to make a distinction. Um, there are clinical ways to address trauma and there are non-clinical ways to address trauma. And I don't think anybody is asking, we're not asking our teachers to be clinicians. I think we need to be really clear about that. Uh, we do not expect our teachers to be clinicians uh, and we do not expect our teachers to resolve trauma. I think we can expect our teachers to be non-clinical professionals with the tools necessary to sit beside and work with trauma in a good way. And that's a very different thing and it's also less frightening. Uh, but to be able to do that, I think we need to be able to provide teachers with a framework to understand that distinction and some very concrete skills and approaches that they can utilize on a daily basis while recognizing the reality of their lives. Like what are tools and approaches that can be mobilized when you're one adult who's responsible for 28? I mean, these need to be fairly expedient. Uh, they need to be tools that can be mobilized quickly. Uh, they need to be tools that can be integrated into the rhythm of a classroom. Uh, but there are tools like that that exist.